Naruto Uzumaki versus Sakura Haruno. Oh my god, just come and kill me already, guys. Now, I don't think it needs to be said, Naruto annihilates Sakura in part one. Naruto has the Shadow Clone Jitsu, he has the QB Chakra, and Sakura has the Clone Jitsu and biting people. I really don't think this is a fight at all, but so let's just move straight on to the beginning of part two, where I think this gets interesting. I think the best place to start is right at the beginning of part two, right when Naruto returns from his training with Jiraiya. Now, what we first need to talk about is Naruto's training with Jiraiya. What people need to understand is that Jiraiya taught Naruto philosophy, he taught him mental training, a lot of it was improving his timing with his jitsu, stuff like that, breaking out of Gen Jitsu, um, passing on his ideas and his idealism to Naruto. But that wasn't what Sakura's training was. Sakura wanted to get stronger. Well, Naruto did get stronger, yes. He was mostly that he refined what was already there. However, Zunade took Sakura and got her from somebody who couldn't even keep up with Naruto and Sasuke in the slightest. Somebody who Naruto could have beat in a single punch in part one and built her up into a Kanoichi capable of, with the help of Shio of the Sand, taking down Sasori of the Red Sand. Hikachi himself said, he has a line in the manga where he said that if he gets hit by Sakura, it's over. And it was still clear he was stronger than Naruto and Sakura, but Sakura punches are just such a one-shot kill attack that if he got hit, he would lose and they would get the bell. You also need to consider, I don't think Sakura would go it all out because you don't think Sakura would want to kill Kakashi. Just like Naruto didn't use his giant Rasengan in that fight. Why would he use it? You would kill Kakashi. So even in that fight, when she was holding back, Kakashi was like, this girl will kill me if she hits me. So this is where we get into Naruto versus Sakura and why I think Sakura is going to win this. Sakura has evasion, massive strength boost, better chakra control, medical ninjutsu, First of all, it is explained in flashback that Tsunade taught Sakura evasion and movement prediction so she can avoid attack, because a medical ninja must never get hit during battle. The medical ninja must not die. So Sakura, as she displayed in her fight with Sakura, is very good at dealing with hordes of enemies at once. Granted, while they are much more powerful than the puppets, I don't think Sakura would have too much trouble defeating Shadow Clone. You must remember, at this point in the series, Naruto was not so overpowered that his Shadow Clones were indestructible. If his Shadow Clones were hit, they would disappear. So if the hit one just one attack would disappear, then it will probably be even easier than dealing with the puppets. So the puppets, I mean the Shadow Clones, are not a problem. What is a problem is, of course, the giant Rasengan. If Naruto is able to land a giant Rasengan on Sakura, she is dead. She is absolutely dead. However, Sakura isn't stupid, and she's not arrogant enough to just stand around while Naruto hits her with a Rasengan. And I think because she's seen the Rasengan in use so many times before, she will very well be willing to use her knowledge of evasion to avoid the attack. If Sakura is able to avoid it, it is likely she would go in for a strike and be able to take Naruto down. I do think at this point in the theory, Sakura went faster than Naruto. It wasn't until later on in the theory that Naruto became one of the faster characters. His Taijutsu at this point wasn't his strongest suit, it was more so his ninjutsu. Naruto really became fast upon learning about KCM and learning about his father. Now you could argue Sakura would be slightly overwhelmed by, say, 1,000 Shadow Clones that Naruto could create. However, this is my thing on that. Sakura took on 100 solid puppets at once. Sakura is essentially dealing with 10 times more of what she dealt with, but much weaker versions. And you have to realize, these Shadow Clones, as stated earlier, if they are touched, are destroyed on spot. So all Sakura really needs to do here is avoid, which should be easy because she knows Naruto's attack pattern. Because he has that knowledge. He knows how Naruto fights. 
so it will be even easier to avoid him than it is to avoid Thoughtory. And then she would just avoid those attacks. Punt poof. It would be punt poof, punt poof. Now, as I said earlier, if she does manage to land a giant rock then gun while she's doing that, she's dead. But I don't see Thoughtory letting that happen. Because I do believe, as I said earlier, while I must debate this off of, I do think her speed feats at this point in the series are more impressive. I think especially in the anime, when she was avoiding all those puppets, that is a lot more impressive than anything Naruto displayed at this point in time. Now why don't we talk about something I have yet to mention. The QB Cloak, alright? If Naruto uses the Nine Tail Box in Chakra, she will destroy Sakura. I have been so far talking about Naruto in his base form. A lot of his training but that wasn't dedicated to the previously mentioned thing was dedicated to controlling the QB. However, he failed. He wasn't able to do it. So that meant that he couldn't really put that training into use. However, you have to remember, Naruto with the three tails was able to was able to make Orochimaru be like, oh. Okay, this is happening. This kid's actually pretty dangerous. However, there is a line by Orochimaru when fighting three-tailed Naruto with him saying, you still can't beat Sasuke. And Sasuke is stronger than this Sakura. We saw how them fighting ended. He, he, he once got her, essentially. So what that means, I'm not sure. It is very unclear if Orochimaru knew Naruto had more tails and was saying Sasuke could beat Four-Tailed Naruto, or if he was saying that Sasuke could beat Three-Tailed Naruto in base, or if he was saying Sasuke in like the full Curse Mark Stage 3 transformation could beat Three-Tailed Naruto. I'm not sure. I think the second scenario, the one where he beat Three-Tailed Naruto in base is the least likely. I think what he is saying is that Sasuke in Three Tails could, in Sasuke in a Stage 3 Curse Mark transformation, could beat Aru, could beat Three Tailed Naruto. So that's just where I think Sasuke stacked up in this situation. But I mean, just that statement alone should say something about Naruto's power. So in this form, I put Naruto against Stage 3 Curse Mark transformation, Sasuke. Sasuke beat Sakura in base. It is with no doubt that if Naruto fought Sakura using the QB cloak, he would annihilate her. I have no doubt in my mind about that. And this thing where things began to go toward more Naruto's favor. During the war, she catches up to Naruto and Sasuke and is able to fight alongside KCM Naruto and EMS Sasuke as their equal. This thing where things get difficult because I want to talk about an interesting battle. Stage mode Naruto versus Strength of 100 Sakura. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not doing Pain Arc Sakura versus Pain Arc Naruto, that is quite simple. In the Pain Arc, it is literally stated Naruto is on a whole nother level than everybody else in the Hayden Lee Stills, and that he is the only one at the moment capable of defeating Pain. So yeah, the series answered how that would go for us. Now, I think Sakura's biggest advantage here is the 100 healing. As long as 100 healing is activated, Sakura can heal from pretty much anything. Though so Naruto only really has the Rock and Jitikin, and because this is Pain Arc Naruto, this is, this is the Naruto that fought Pain by the way, but because this is that version of Naruto, I think that really his only chance is the Rock and Jitikin. And now that the Rock and Jitikin is something he's throwing, it is a lot easier to avoid. You can just you just need to get out of the range of the explosion. And also, Strength of 100 Sakura is stronger than Zunade, who was able to break Madara's rib cage, Susano. So even though it wasn't the perfect Susano, she still punched through the Susano. That is a very big thing. You don't just punch through a Susano. You don't just do that, Zunade. But since Zunade can do it, Sakura can do it. And that's a really big thing considering it with Madara. So, Sakura does have physical strength over Naruto, but I don't think Naruto is that far behind. He's much closer to her than he used to be, thanks to the massive strength boost he gets in when he's in stage mode. I think Naruto's biggest advantage is his fraud Kamoite and his sensing abilities. 
because of course he can predict Sakura movement much more easily than he could in the past, thanks to his new sensing abilities. However, I think his biggest disadvantage is that Sakura has 100 healing, and strength of 100 will last longer. Remember, in the pain arc, Naruto could only use save mode for about 3 minutes, and without, you know, without running out and having to summon the Shadow Clone from Mount Miyaboku. And if he used 3 Rotten Jidikins, he would use up all his natural energy, and he would lose save mode. He could only fire 3 Rotten Jidikins. So Sakura, with all of her evading prowess, only has to avoid three Rotten Jidikin. And even then, would the Rotten Jidikin kill Sakura? 100 healing heals you on a cellular level, and Rotten Jidikin destroyed your cells on a cellular level. So I would assume Sakura would just be lying on the ground for a couple seconds and just get up and just be like, Ah, oh, shit, Naruto, that hurt. But I do believe if Naruto is able to get in a good Rotten Jidikin, he could win. It all depends on whether or not you think Sakura could regenerate the Rotten Jidikin. Or, and could regenerate with things like Rotten Gun and Rotten Jidikin. I do think he could regenerate with a Rotten Gun, but a massive Rotten Gun or a Rotten Jidikin, I'm not sure. There's also ro massive Rotten Gun Mega Barrage. If Naruto lands that, I'm not sure. We don't really know what the limit to 100 healings is, but I would assume you may not be able to recover from a massive Rasengan Mega Barrage or a Rasen Jidikin. Sakura vs Naruto in the war really depends on what variants you're talking about. If you're talking about early KCM and you're giving her strength of 100, I think he still wins. I think Sakura, while being the weakest member, was on their level. I see Sakura the same way I see Sanji in, at that point in the series. Well, I used to see Sanji. I see it as like, it's like Naruto KCM, EMS Sake, Strength of 100 Sakura, in that order. I think that makes sense. And then I think, and then of course, we get the part where Naruto gets, of course, sit back save mode. Everyone to point out that Naruto annihilates her easily. Naruto, by the end of the series, is on such another level than everybody else. It is ridiculous. I mean, it, it's not even a fight. Like, there's no level of wanking I could give Sakura that would let her stand a chance. I know about her tail beef bomb tanking feet in the manga, just no, in her light novel. No. She stands no chance against KCM Naruto, against Day Mode Naruto. She's on that level, but Naruto just after this past Day Mode. KCM2 Naruto with a stage mode is like Hashirama level. Yeah, you heard me right. KCM2 Naruto with stage mode is debatably Hashirama level. I mean, it's just not a fight. I'm sorry. Anything past stage mode becomes iffy. I mean, strength of 100 Sakura with a stage Naruto alone is pretty much up to your interpretation of the character. And I mean, KCM... KCM2, KCM2 stage mode, this past day mode isn't enough to interpretate it. That's a factual. Yeah, he annihilates her. But I will say that I do plan on doing a Naruto vs. the 5 Kage video because some people apparently think that he can't beat the 5 Kage. I'm going to be doing that. But this video took me like a couple of weeks, like a week to make because I'm busy with school and this takes time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did leave it a like, subscribe for more Naruto content, and I'm going to be doing more other kinds of versus battles with Sakura in the future, I don't think there's enough of those, and just more general Naruto versus battles in the future. Next one will be Naruto versus the Five Kage, that's going to be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, leave the video a like if you did, and comment, like, subscribe, all that. Have a good day guys.